Well, people are getting their hands dirty, repairing a popular trail in Hickson Forest that was washed out by floods and heavy rain. News Channel 8's Cynthia Schweiger now joins us live in the studio to tell us more about how they're getting the trail ready to reopen. Cynthia? Well, within a week, WISC Corps workers are hoping to open one of the Hickson Trail Hickson Forest trails that was severely damaged by flood. And that means a lot of hard work and for some, thinking back to their own memories of the trail. I have been hiking the Hickson Trails since I was little. But after being washed away by last year's floods, the Hickson Forest Upper Log Trail has been closed. Where there was once a nice trail system and a nice section of forest, it created this massive gully. I was disappointed. Um, it was kind of who's going to fix them. Grace Mass decided she would so that others could enjoy the trail like she has. They're very well used. I mean, just today we've had at least 30 people come walk by. The WIS Corps organization is working with the professional trail builder to repair the lower section of the upper log trail, which they're planning to reopen within a week. We get this retaining wall here done. There's a couple blowdowns that we'll take care of and a couple uh, of the other erosion problems behind us. And on top of all that, they're also hoping to prevent any future washouts. And for about 10 feet, you'll be walking on stone, nice flat stone that's laid in, kind of like your backyard patio. And you'll be, you know, walking over that, and that'll allow the, wa the water to go over it um, each time it rains. And for Grace Mass, the hard work she's putting in to repair this trail section. Moving big racks, bigger than me, and pushing trees down and moving lots of dirt. Will be worth it in the end. It makes me feel good because when I walk this trail, I could say, I did this, and look how nice it is. Well, the upper section of the Upper Log Trail, which is by Bis Bliss Road, will remain closed. The ground there is still too unstable to work on repairing that section of the trail. Thanks, Cynthia. Also, the WISCOR group did the fundraising to pay for the trail repairs. The city is planning on collaborating with them when it's safe to start working on the upper section of the Upper Log Trail.